Hey guys, for a long time I've been wanting to bring you a series of tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. And we're really fortunate to have Jackie, who has a lot of experience with both. She's part of our studio now. She's going to take you through a series of tutorials starting off with the basics. We want to arm you with these because we're going to start a contest in July. Lucky winner will win stuff from our sponsors like SanDisk and Bay Photo, really cool stuff. So make sure you pay attention to what she's telling you. Get out and shoot your own photos. And over to you, Jackie. OK, let's get started. Hi, guys. So this episode, I'm covering how to utilize the black and white editing option in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to take your color images and turn them into stunning black and white photographs. So I'm starting in the library module, and I want you to find the images that you want to convert into black and white. Select the image and then go over to the develop module at the top. And here I want you to find the basic panel which is on the right side of the panels area. So in the treatment section at the top click black and white and that just converted your image to black and white but you'll see that it's very flat. Don't worry though, we're about to change that. So to create a stunning black and white image, it needs to be really rich with high contrast. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've gotten all we can out of the highlights in the image. So I want you to go over to the white slider right here and look up at the histogram right here and I want you to look at this triangle on the right side Right now it's gray. And we're going to bring it over to the right until it lights up. And I'm going to put my mouse over here to show you. When I hover over it, you can see down on my image, you see the window has some red on it. There it is again. That's showing the highlight clipping happening in my image because I brightened the whites. So what I want you to do is go to the left a little bit until that um, caution triangle turns gray. You can go up a little. Okay, there you go. So now that you've gotten the maximum amount of highlights without clipping any of them away, I want you to go over to the black slider, which is right underneath the white slider, and let's drag it over to the left a little bit until the photo doesn't look so flat and washed out. Okay, some people say that you should never let any part of your photograph turn black, even if it's a shadow, but I think having some solid black in an image makes it pop and gives you that whole range from black to white. It makes your image just a whole lot more attractive in my opinion. So you might be losing some detail in the shadows, but people react more positively to an image with high contrast. After doing that, I just want to show you, you can go up to the histogram and go to the left caution symbol, hold your mouse over it and you'll see all of the parts of the image that have shadow clipping. Okay, so after doing that, I want to add some contrast. So let's go up to the contrast. And here you can eye it. Um, we don't want to go too crazy because we are going to be adding some clarity to the image. So add a little bit here. And since we took our blacks down and added some contrast, some of the parts of the image are really dark and we did lose some shadow detail. So I'm going to come over to the shadows and brighten them up just a tad. There we go. Here you can see in her jacket, especially this area, received a lot more detail, but still I'm keeping some true black in the image. Next, I want us to go over to clarity and um, we're going to add some clarity to this image. So as a rule with color images, personally, I don't go over nine on clarity, but I always do add some clarity to my images. 
When working with color images, if you add too much clarity, it makes the image look way over processed, but with black and white, clarity is an awesome tool to use. So I'm going to get a little crazy with the clarity tool, slide it up a bit, and you can see it just made her freckles more defined, the fur and her hair strands really pop. So what Clarity does is it adds a contrast to the midtones of the photo, which results in details in the texture of the image. So I really like how this image looks, but I want to sharpen it a little bit. So I'm going to open the detail panel right here so I can get a good look at my sharpening. And instead of sharpening in the detail panel, I want you to go over to the left panel and try a preset. So under presets, here I already have open the Lightroom general presets. And sharpen faces is good for portraits. It doesn't add a whole lot of sharpening. As you can see, it added a little bit um, and it looks very nice. But if you want to add a little more, you can hit Sharpen Scenic. And this is for landscapes, but it can also work for a portrait. You can see the difference over here in the sharpening sliders. Here's Sharpen Faces and Sharpen Scenic. So I'm going to keep it at Faces for now. And my image looks great. We're basically done, but there's one more tool that I'm going to show you. So if you go above detail, um, there's a panel that says HSL color black and white. I want you to click that panel. And here you can see you have all these colors and sliders to choose from. I'll show you just a little bit. Here's red and it's going to take all the reds in the image and lighten them if you move it to the right, darken them if you move it to the left. But since this image is black and white right now, um, I can kind of guess where the colors are, but you don't know. So you can mess with these and take a lot of time, or you can go over to this little tool which is a targeted adjustment tool. Click on it and go over to your image. And let's say I want her hair to be a little darker. What you're going to do is click and drag your mouse down. If you want the part of the image lighter, you're going to click and drag your mouse up. So let me click on a part of her hair and drag it down so you can see. Now I want you to look over to the um, black and white mix panel. And you can see that it's moving the yellow, the orange, and the red. So it's really exact with the colors it's choosing. So I'm going to leave that right there. And I'm going to go over to her lips. Um, and what I like to do is if it's something like this, small, I like to go over to my detail panel, move it down to the lips so I can see exactly what's happening. If you darken it too much, you can see it right there and obviously on the cheeks. But I'm going to lighten it a little bit. I really like what it's doing on the lips right there. Might take her chin and lighten it a little. Okay, and then come over here to the fur coat and lighten it just a tad. Awesome. Okay guys, so now that I'm finished with this image, I'm going to go down here so I can show you the before and after. 
and take away my panels by shift tab hit L twice and here you can see I took my color image and created a high contrast sharp stunning black and white image I hope this tutorial has helped you realize that converting a color image into a black and white image using Lightroom is very easy and very effective. You can create a stunning black and white image with high contrast, sharp detail that'll definitely draw the attention of your viewers. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions or tips on future videos that I can do, please comment below. Your comments and likes are greatly appreciated. Thank you. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to our video so you can see all the new ones coming out and... Also like. And share them with your friends, okay? Make sure you share them with your friends and also... We'd like to see your comments on what other topics you would like for us to produce. Tell us what you want and we'll produce it for you. Okay, stay tuned.